Yo, what up? Get in here, man. We talking verses today. We talking verses today. Thought I wasn't. You thought I wasn't Dipset, the locks. You thought I wasn't. Yo, that was one of them. It was one of them. And I was pleasantly surprised. And I don't know why. I don't know why I doubt it. Who I doubt it. We're going to get into it. But I don't know why. I owe somebody an apology. Go ahead and hit that like. Go ahead and subscribe. You know how we do on this channel. We get right to the shit. Tonight was versus the locks versus dipset. Come on, man. If you from that era, if you from that mixtape era, you grew up in that era, this is one of them for you. I know it was one of them for me. When I heard this was dropping, I, I mean, I had to take off. I had to take off work, man. I said, no. I called my boss. I said, no, not coming in today. Locks, dipset. And it gave, it gave everything it was supposed to give. Before we go one step further and get into the motherfucking shit, I want to go ahead and tell you who the motherfucking MVP of the motherfucking battle was. It was motherfucking Jada Kiss once again. I'm going to tell you right now, all you fucking rappers from that mixtape era, leave Jada alone. Niggas don't want no smoke with him. The energy this nigga brings to the versus stage, niggas don't want that. He had them guys, he had Cam, he had Jules emotional out there. They ain't even want him to speak. Had him emotional. <laughs> now let's get into the battle. <coughs> Dipset came, Dip, the locks came with a motherfucking game plan. Fuck, they made it so that the hits didn't matter. They made it so the hits didn't matter, which then took the trump card away from Dipset. Because Dipset, coming into this battle, everybody was saying Dipset had more anthems. And before the battle, I kind of agreed. I was like, this is going to be a wash. Dipset is going to win this shit, hands down. Hands down. I was like, there's no way the locks got a shot at this. And they came out swinging. They came out ready from the jump. And I feel like they energy was so much higher than motherfucking Dipset. Dipset felt disjointed. First of all, when the joint opened up, everybody coming out. Fucking Jimmy, Jewels, Freaky, they come out. Cam nowhere to be found. I'm, I'm scanning, I'm scanning the stage like, where's Cam? Where's Cam? Where's Cam? So that was a bad omen for me. That John, he came out late. He came out apart from the group. Is what I'm what I'm saying. He came out apart from the group. When you saw Jada, you saw Sheik, you saw Ghost. They came out as a unit. Was set the tone for the motherfucking battle. It was an omen for the battle because that's what I saw on stage. I saw a motherfucking unit. Even when the nigga they was doing Jada song, everybody was rapping Jada bars. When they was doing Sheik song, everybody was rapping Sheik Sheik bars. Cam shit, Cam man, uh, Jewel's, Jewel's performing most of the jumps. It, it made, I think Jewel's and Cam perform most of the jumps. And what's crazy is, I feel like Jimmy's the better rapper now than both of them. He didn't play none of his, none of his songs from his critically acclaimed albums. His last three albums critically acclaimed. He plays none of them joints. He's one of the few battle, he was one of the few guys in the battle, the verses that could have played, that could have reached into his new bag. He didn't do that. That was a fail to me. They didn't, get, when, they wasn't, I feel like Dipset had a predetermined playlist and the locks didn't. Because when Dipset started to play certain shit, I felt like Jada called an audible and played a, a, a different jump, a certain jump. You know what I'm saying? He did that. I seen him do it over and over again. Over and over again. He did that. He made a motherfucking a coach call. Boom. Or oh, they played this. A hey, tech hit him with this jump. Like he go over there. He though. 
Jada, <laughs> I seen somebody else put this in a uh, in a in a Facebook group. Jada is the motherfucking Thanos of fucking verses. That's a fact. That's a motherfucking fact, yo. Niggas don't want no part of Jada. First of all, he had niggas a mo. And then when he threw motherfucking uh, Joel's bandana, it was over for me. <laughs> it was over for me. Jada can get any bag you want to get. You want to get into the street bars. You want to get into the hits. You want to get into the motherfucking girl records. He the fuck, he was a trump card in that. Jada carried them uh, uh, the locks on his back, and it was nothing Dipset could do about it. They needed Cam. They needed Cam to put to put them on their back, and he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Jada. Jada had a triple double out there tonight, man. Come on, man. If y'all watch what I watch, your eyes work like my eyes work. Your ears work like my ears work. Fucking, that was a locks with a clean 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 victory i don't feel like there's a debate in that even when uh they said the jump was over and then they started to play more songs i feel like that was an opportunity for dipset to kind of like end on a good note and i feel like even after they played oh boy and hey ma it wasn't enough this nigga jay was playing motherfucking merry joints <laughs> They play all about the Benjamins. Come on, all about the Benjamins might be the greatest rap song ever. It's definitely top five greatest rap song ever. Argue with your mother. But I will say, man, Versus put on a hell of a show, man. I appreciate that, man. On a Tuesday. You got that on a Tuesday. You can't be mad at that. What was y'all niggas doing today? There's no basketball on. It's not, the football season ain't started yet. What y'all niggas watching? Baseball? There's no battles tonight. There's nothing going on. It was versus and it was dip setting his locks. And you from that area. If you ain't from that area, it was a motherfucking movie out there. And Jada's the fucking MVP, man. I'm telling you, man. That nigga, yo, leave him alone. Don't call him. Nobody else call him out. Let Jada, let Jada be where he at, man. Like he said, he wanted to be in the bed watching the Honeymooners. He was telling niggas go get his slippers. He was telling niggas it's red. He telling you niggas to rap. He said, you niggas not rapping. You lip singing ass niggas. You not rapping. Sheik Loose come out there looking like the security calling these niggas pussy. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. All Cam gave you was, oh, what are, what are those? What do you got on? That's it? That's it? What what, what Ghost said? I ain't losing nobody wearing leather pants, man. Jimmy, you didn't do enough. I blame I blame you. Jimmy, you didn't do enough. Cam, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't embrace your brothers, man. You wasn't performing enough. The energy wasn't high enough. Nigga, you got the bag. All that too cool shit. Fuck that shit. That shit was for New York. Like motherfucker Jada said. And Jada put on, man. The, the locks put on. Ghost put on. Sheik put on. Jewels Ju might be the only one that gave me gave me that energy like he like he knew what type of energy to bring. Was Jewels. And then Ju if I feel like Jewels, them niggas was out of breath, man. They couldn't even rap their songs, or they didn't remember the lyrics, or they, I don't know what it was, man. All I know is the locks came to put on a motherfucking show, and that's what the fuck they did. They put on the show. You cannot honestly say you watched that shit and Dipset won. They lost. I know. I know they ain't no winner or loser. It's just a celebration, right? Yeah, that's what the loser always say. The loser always say, man, it ain't no winner or loser. It's just a celebration. That's my brother. They did a little hug it up at the end, but we knew what it was. It was over then. Book was closed. Locks. Clean. 30. Dirty. 30. <laughs> Wait till y'all see the playback. If y'all ain't watching, man, check it out, man. Jada, fucking hilarious. Get that nigga a show. Mr. Clean, man. We out.